So I want to start another project and uh, I want to copy this plane that I have. I think you call it a V-groove plane. That's the profile of it. And I have a project coming up where I want to use a plane like this. So that's a good reason for me to make a copy because I'm not going to be using this original. The other reason I want to do this now is because these are 45 degree miters and I'm going to be setting up my table saw to make those cut, which for me is a big deal and that's why you never see me using a table saw because it's all outside and I gotta get in and out real quick with these making the noise and everything so I, and the other reason why is I came with, up with this blank this blank was originally going to be just it was one of the cutoffs and I was going to make other planes with it and cut it up and as I flattened it out I realized that this grain is gorgeous and if you could see it there's some really good rays in here and figuring and I think on the other side you can almost see it's like iridescent it's very good figuring in the grain so I have a layout on it and on the original, it's basically what I would call a center escapement. So it's symmetrical on both sides because the, the focus of the cutting action is right in the middle of the plane. So if you were to set this pretty deep, you might need to have ch chips come out from either side. So the escapement is the same on both sides. And that's what the way I have it laid out here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I have a center line for a hole. I'm going to bore, bore a hole all the way through and then just bevel it from the perimeter of the hole back to the outside perimeter of it and just create a bevel, which is pretty much the way this, the way this looks. Everything else is pretty standard, 10 degree tapered wedge. I copied the bed angle off the original so I just want to film this now because by the time I get back to this I'm going to be way past this point So I have a, uh, a boring bushing set up on this guide. I didn't customize it for this bed angle. And I set it up so that I can extend an extra long drill bit through the bushing. And that's how I'm going to start the mortise for the, um, the wedge pocket. So I haven't done this before. This will be... This will be filmed for the first time. So 
the two holes come in from the top and they intersect somewhere inside the middle of the plane there's really only one there's really only one uh, exit hole it's slightly out of round so they kind of they overlapped there was like a like a 95 percent overlap of the two holes coming along I'll fabricate the blade and start fitting that and that'll be the final final tuning but I'm about 95 percent of the way there and it's going along pretty good and in fact even if I stop here this would be a good place for me to then put the miters on it in case I'm set up to do that in the near future otherwise I'll complete all this work before I do that this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. It's roughed out. Now I'll harden it, temper it, and then from then on I'll just hit it with the bench grinder and sharpening stones, diamond stones. I'm at the end of the V-Groove plane project. So we got the original here and we got the copy. It's all done sanded to 150 I noticed when I was comparing them before I got the bed angles perfect but the escape angle on this one is a little steeper I think what I did was I used the protractor and I set it to 10 degrees steeper than the bed angle and the original is probably a little bit less but that's okay it's not going to affect the quality of the the quality of the plane or the performance everything else I got pretty much right on. I really like the way the the escapement looks on the new plane. I think I got everything pretty pretty nice. So uh, the other thing I wanted to mention again, I know I said it at the beginning of the project, but the grain on this plane is absolutely outstanding. I was afraid that it was going to be hard to work with and it was going to chip and run and have all sorts of problems with it but no came out real nice I did lose a small corner right behind the tip of the blade so what I did was I blasted off a little I lost about half as much as you see here I cut off a little bit more and then I glued a piece on and shaped it, it came out fine so I have a block set up here and I'm just gonna run a little test piece on it and then we'll show everybody what this what this cut looks like so
So I have a project coming up, and it's going to be a unique project. You're probably never going to see anything like it. It's not going to be a fancy piece of woodworking, but the project itself will be unique. So, and I'm going to need this plane in order to put some of the design work in it. So, you see, it's a simple. A simple V groove not really a big deal but it's a clean cut and uh, for the right time in the right place it'll be effective so this one's a wrap I'm very happy with the way it came out and uh, I just want to remind everybody stay happy stay healthy and stay strong because there's always a lot more work to do. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you.